So the purpose of this video is to check whether it makes sense for someone with a low porosity hair to add a leave-in conditioner after the, the hair has already been towel dried. So on this side of my hair, I uh, added a leave-in conditioner while in the shower to soaking wet hair using the squish to condition method, which means I also uh, was adding uh, water at the same time. So it's actually a mixture of water and leave-in so where the emphasis is more on the water than on the living. And on this side of my hair, I, I also use the squish to condition method during, in the shower. And then afterwards, what I did was I squished my hair up until there was no more water dripping. Then I used this uh, microfiber towel to squish uh, my hair again to, to scrunch my hair again until there uh, so I used it twice and then afterwards I used this uh, towel turban it's also from, uh, microfiber and what I did was um, instead of rolling my hair inside the turban I used it to plop my hair so I plop my hair and then uh, I twisted the turban so my hair was not inside the, this turban part and I left it on for like 10 minutes maybe and then when my hair was already towel dried I used this um, leave-in conditioner from Balea from DM so I live in Germany this is a German brand and I used this on uh, the right side of my hair so um, in my opinion, adding a leave-in after I've already towel dried my hair um, actually causes loss of curl and even though the hair is a little bit more moisturized, I don't think I will um, continue using it after towel drying. So I think it's better to use it only on the soaking wet hair in the shower. Okay.